Hello. It's uh, going on 9 o'clock at night, and um, I just wanted to share a couple of scriptures with you. Um, I know that this is a difficult time for so many, and um, a lot of people are having trouble sleeping. I mean, our schedules are messed up, and um, sometimes I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> So I just wanted to share a couple of scriptures for those of you. Um, just quickly, I went through a season where I battled fear and anxiety. for It was a long, long battle. And um, it was very intense for six months. And it was a, a, just such an intense spiritual battle. And uh, I know that right now there's a lot of spiritual stuff going on. Uh, a lot of people who are battling in the spirit, and they're battling. Fear is a spirit, and um, the only way that we can fight it is through spiritual weapons. And, you know, we have the Word of God. We have um, the, our spoken Word. We need to speak the Word. We need to believe the Word. We have, you know, our trust and our faith in God. Um Gratitude is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. Um, there are so many uh, weapons of our warfare that God has given us. Um, putting on our, our, our armor, which is in Ephesians 6. Um, so the Lord has equipped us and given us spiritual weapons and armor. And so one of those weapons, like I said, is the Word of God. And so I just want to share a couple of scriptures with you um, before bedtime. And so one of them is Psalm 4, verse 8. And it says, I will lie down both in peace and sleep. For you alone, are lo O Lord, make me dwell in safety. And then the other verse that I wanted to read is Proverbs 3 verses 24 through 26. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. I apologize for stumbling over those words. I don't have my glasses on. But this is saying, you know, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. And your sleep will be sweet. And, and you are not to fear sudden terror or trouble. Because the Lord will be and is your confidence. And He will keep your foot from being caught. And so, Father, I just uh, lift up all of my friends and family to you, Lord, and I ask, Father, that you would help us to just put our faith and our hope and our trust in you, Lord. Father, I pray that you will draw each one of us closer to you in this season. And Lord, I pray for tonight that each person who hears the sound of my voice and who hears these scriptures would have sweet sleep. Lord, I speak your peace. I speak shalom over each and every one and I thank you Lord for what you are doing in our midst Lord you are working even when we don't see it or feel it and I ask Lord that you would bring encouragement to each heart in Jesus name amen well I hope you all have a sweet sleep and I will talk to you soon shalom <laughs>